Hi there! In today's video we're going to have a look at this Viltrox lens and see how we can update the firmware on it because I bought one newly for my Nikon Z30 camera and surprise surprise it did not work straight out of the box so we need to install a firmware update on this lens because I also managed to install a firmware update on my uh, Nikon Z30 so now I'm running on Nikon Z30 firmware version 1.10 so that's basically the second uh, firmware for this uh, Nikon Z30 and I didn't find the link to downgrade the firmware on my camera and I just tried updating this lens directly because fortunately this lens has an USB-C port here as you can see so for this operation you need an USB to USB-C port to connect this lens to your computer. So basically you need first the USB to USB-C connector for the lens and a computer to connect it to. You can either do this on a Mac or PC, it doesn't matter. So now we're just gonna jump straight into it and see how it's done on the PC. So don't worry, it's pretty easy. We'll uh, look at it right now. So here we are at my laptop. So the, this is the USB-C to USB cable. And this is the lens. We have to take the cap off, obviously. Okay, plug in the USB-C cable and then plug the other end into your laptop. Okay, now it's connected to the laptop and let's have a look at my screen because we won't be touching this. Just leave it as it is and uh, follow the instructions on the screen as you, you will see now. Okay, now we are on my laptop and now we will go on Google and search for Viltrox download. So we have Viltrox latest firmware update website here, the first entry. Okay, location set to Romania. Okay, continue. And <laughs> now the hard part, we have to find our lens. First, set the language to English because you might have it in, uh, in Chinese. We are on the firmware update page. Go down, firmware download, click here. Okay. So basically we need to go to some kind of search engine where we can find all the lenses. So we have here... <clears throat> The lenses page, the news info kind of, uh, the news info URL here. So we'll go to APSC. In my case, it's the 23. I'll search. We can search for it directly, actually. So it is AF23 1.4. Yeah. And we click enter and let's see if we get something. Uh, don't click enter, you have to click on this uh, magnifier glass. So we have a few lenses here. So mine is specifically this AF23 1.4 Z mount version 106. Currently, I have the 105 installed on. Uh, I had the 105 install firmware installed on my lens. So we click on download. We put this code here 2683. Hit OK. Hit OK, not enter because it will not work. And now, as we can see, the firmware has started downloading. Let's open that folder up. We can extract the files. And this is the content of the folder. Here we have some instructions. Ah, okay, firmware, uh, not instructions, what, but actually what has been changed, some firmware changes. Uh, if you look here, let's see, the, there is some kind of tutorial, tutorial here as well. Yeah, okay, software, software version software release yeah this is basically a short tutorial from their side to see how you can how you can do this but i will show you directly how to do it uh, here i open up my computer and i can see here viltrox dfu if you go here inside you see device information.txt you can double click it and see what current software version this lens uh, uses so mine is 106 because I have already done the firmware 
because I have already done the firmware update but yours will look here like 1.0.5 or smaller so basically what you need to do now is copy this file here drag and drop copy here and now after it has completed your lens will actually will actually unmount itself and remount the device the partition and then it will show you the software version here uh, 106 updated so that's about it and now it should it should work if you mount it on your camera it should now work uh, yeah i forgot to to mention what it doesn't work means well it doesn't work means that the autofocus functions on your camera that focus on your eyes on your face will not work also i think the aperture was stuck at i don't know maybe f22 when i put the lens on my camera so basically you could not even adjust the aperture because the mo motors on the lens were not engaged as you rotated the aperture aperture ring so that's a big 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 minus this is why you need to update the firmware on the Viltrox lens so that you can get it working for your for your camera and on my Nikon Z30 I managed to update the firmware and Nikon banned most of the third-party lenses and if you want to use uh, third-party lenses with automations like autofocus uh, you need to install the firmware update for uh, for those lenses and fortunately Viltrox made this very easy to use oh yeah and about those uh, acne looking uh, spots on my on my face I have chicken pox and this is why I look like this so yeah that was about it I will put the link of this lens in the video description if you are interested in uh, buying it it's from Viltrox and basically now it's working on my Nikon Z30 and that was about it see you in the next video if you like this one subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one ciao